Hello, welcome back. I am Statman Dave. Today we're going to be answering the question, is Thiago Motta's 272 the future of football? I'm of course Statman Dave. Make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on if you are new and like that goddamn video anyway. Let's get this party started. Having played under some of the greatest managers in European football, including Van Gaal, Rijkaard, Jose Mourinho, Ancelotti, Laurent Blanc, and of course Claudio Ranieri, Thiago Motta's ideas on goalkeeping could take football to a drastic tactical evolution. In a recent interview with Gazzetta dello Sport, Thiago Motta was talking about his footballing philosophy. My idea of the game is offensive, a compact team that commands at the start. High pressure and lots of mobility with and without the ball. I want the players with the ball to have three or four solutions and two close associates to help him. For me, counting from right to left, it could be a 2-7-2. You can play in a 4-3-3 and be defensive or a 3-5-2 and be offensive. These numbers are very deceptive. I count the goalkeeper in the middle seven. For me, the attacker is the first defender and the goalkeeper is the first striker. The goalkeeper is the one who starts to play with the foot and the first attacker who has to make the first pressure to recover the ball. Thiago Motta was appointed as head coach of PSG's under-19s team in the summer. They're currently second in the league, and Motta sets his team up in a 4-3-3. Following his interview with Gazzetta dello Sport, the English press have translated Motta's system to a 2-7-2, but how would that work? Well, let's start off with that 4-3-3 base. What you'd see is a number of movements in a sort of possession phase, of course, when PSG have just recovered the ball, and then moving to their possession-based shape. To make this 2-7-2 first up, one of the central midfielders would have to move into an attacking area and joining the striker as a two-man strike force. The two wide players would be moving inside. One of the centre-halves would move from their defensive position into midfield as a defensive midfielder. And finally, the goalkeeper would push up and sit next to one of the centre-backs. This resembles an evolution of Pep Guardiola's Manchester City side. Again, Thiago Motta admires Guardiola's side with and without the ball. You're taking a number of benefits from this new system. First up, of course, you've got an extra outfielder, giving you numerical superiority over the pitch. The good thing with this sort of system as well is it's almost like a carrot and stick situation. Having a goalkeeper in part of the build-up is going to draw pressure out. The big problem that Guardiola's had with teams is sitting deep and being really defensive. So maybe having a goalkeeper in the build-up would draw an extra attacker out, opening space up further up the pitch. But there are also benefits in terms of the number of systems. The 2-7-2 looks like a 4-4-2 in an attacking sense, with the two wingers coming inside as two number 10s. So that would be a benefit of the system. Two central players to create from that number 10 area. But also you're retaining the balance of a 4-3-3. You have a midfield three to control that central area, including a defensive midfielder, which will consequently allow the wing backs to push high up the pitch. And finally, in terms of the press, you have an extra body at the back, which means you can force an extra body further up, allowing you to press high and looking to win the ball and getting those counter-attacking situations, or either working the ball back through your midfield and recycling possession. The obvious negatives of this system, of course, is your goalkeeper is now into defence, meaning that you've got an open goal that if there's a transition, your opponents could look to shoot from the halfway line. But did the English press mistranslate Thiago Motta's comments? If we go back to the original quotes, is in fact talking about the formation from right to left, a 2-7-2, which consequently makes sense in a 4-3-3. If we break that system down again, it is two players on the right-hand side, seven in this central block, and then two on the outside, if you're breaking it down from middle, and then the two flanks. But also in the interview, he said he counts his goalkeeper as a midfielder. And it wouldn't quite make sense for throwing a goalkeeper into midfield from their natural deep position. So maybe the 272 is actually a horizontal 433, positionally very structured from right to left. A very interesting way to look at formations. However, could this be the next big iteration in football formations? Either a 272 or even a 362 could be that total football version 2.0. We're seeing a goalkeeper becoming more ball playing in the English game as well as around the continent. So maybe a goalkeeper moving into that area could be what we're going to be seeing next. Hamburg have trialled it in the Bundesliga too, having their goalkeeper pushing up and being in between two centre-halves. Again, a tactical evolution. Thiago Motta also was quoted in saying one day he wants to be on the PSG bench as manager. With all the thought about football, could be a really good addition to the modern game. Anyway guys, get into the comments below. Did the English press misquote Thiago Motta or is the 272 the next big tactical evolution in the world of football? Of course, make sure to like the video and share this to your friends. This is a really interesting debate. We've had a lot of conversations in our office about the 272. Get involved below. I'll see you there. I've been Statman Dave, over and out.
In a recent it in a recent interview with Gelzet Gelzetta. In a recent interview in a recent it in a recent interview with Gelzetta del Gazetta, I don't know why I'm bottling it. In a recent interview in with In a recent interview with Gelzetta, what the fuck am I choking it? Gelzetta, Gazetta del Delo Sport, Gazetta del